Okay, you start the drink. We've had the homecoming games. You know, how cool was it to see Fizz get to have his his day? I mean, COVID kind of messed that up last year. Yeah. How cool was it to see him? It's extremely cool. You know, those those games are, are always special uh, to that individual um, and mean a little more uh, with your you know family and friends and loved ones, being able to come see him in person and see you live out your dreams. So uh, it's cool. We're excited for him, happy for him. Um, and he hooped in it. Uh, what to you was the most impressive thing that you guys did offensively today? Because it felt like everybody pretty much had a good game. Um, we shared the ball. Uh, we played fast. We played with pace. And then we played on selfish basketball. Like we were moving the ball. Um, we were able to break the defense down. Um, and the majority of the time, rather than taking um, a good shot, we would create for somebody else to have a great wide open shot. So um, that was impressive and um, worked for us. You said, well, not you. Teammates have said that you want to be playing your best basketball at this time of the year. How close was that to the best basketball you guys you guys can play? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We don't, you know, we don't try to compare or uh, rate ourselves nightly. But um, tonight was obviously a good game. You know, we felt like we had uh, everything kind of clicking on both ends of the floor. Obviously, there's areas where you can sharpen up or certain plays that you can be better. Uh, but for the most part, we were locked in. Defensively, um, we were able to hold them to, to one shot, get stops, force turnovers, get out and transition and run. That's when we're at our best. And so we felt like we kind of executed uh, at a high level tonight. Um, and, and that's what, what we want to do and kind of how we want to play. So um, that's that's about as good a game we played this year. Um, we just want to continue to keep that rolling. What is it about what you guys have been able to do defensively? Like, were it still as if you guys were able to kind of get under your opponent's skin? You know, like it's just frustrating. You can tell they're so frustrated and you guys keep attacking, attacking, attacking. Yeah, we just want to make make it a long night for them. Uh, we don't want to give them anything easy. We want to kind of set that tone early that um, we're going to be physical. We're going to try to take away your, your you know first couple of different looks, a uh, couple of different actions that you're trying to get to. Um, and then we're going to try to hold you to one shot and get out and run and get you on your heels. So uh, we just try to establish that mindset early and continue it for a full 48 that uh, you're not going to get anything easy tonight. Even more impressive that you could do that on both ends of the floor seamlessly without Jaw. Yeah, yeah. We just um, next man up mentality. Um, you know, Jaw's missed time. You know, before uh, this year, and um, just try to step in, fill his shoes as best that I can. Um, can. We just try to continue to keep playing the right way, continue to um, play together, play as a team, and uh, execute the game plan, and, and it works for us. What is he saying now? Because it looks like he's having just as much fun as everybody else. Oh, yeah, he great. is. He is. Uh, he's just encouraging his teammates. Um, everyone knows how uh, unselfish Jai is. And so even when he's not playing, uh, you know, he's uh, talking the most on the bench, you know, encouraging us, um, yelling out coverages on defense. Uh, you know, he still brings his energy even though he's not playing. And that's that's huge, you know, coming from the leader on the team, your best player on the team, when he's that engaged even though uh, he's not playing physically in the game. Um, that does a lot for us out there on the court. That does a lot for everyone else on the bench who's watching the game. You know, that makes them engaged as well. And them talking, you can kind of see that energy and it, it feeds off to everybody. Is he harder on, harder on someone in particular? Uh, no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, he holds everyone accountable. All right, we got time for two more. We'll go to Davey on Zoom. Hi, Tyrus. Great game. Congratulations on the win. How are you doing? Thank you. Hey, my question for you is, um, what was your mindset coming into the game knowing Jazz not playing tonight? And my second question is, how do you hype yourself up before a game? Uh, first question, um, just continue to, to do what I've been doing, continue to be aggressive, uh, continue to take what the defense gives me, make plays for my, not only myself, but, you know, for my teammates, kind of set the set the table for them, get, get guys going, and um, just try to be a, a leader, a uh, floor general out there. Uh, they, they allow me to lead. They allow me to uh, be myself. And so I just try to set the tone. Um, and then second question, uh, you just try to lock in. The NBA season's long. We've got a lot of games. Um, but, you know, you just try to get yourself, you know, in that, in that mental zone. Um, night in and night out, you try to physically prepare, obviously, but mentally you got to just try to stay as sharp as possible 
um, and try to just be as locked in as you can uh, on that basis. All right, last question, Joe Molinax. Good evening, Tyus. Jaron Jackson Jr., also an Indiana standout, played high school ball in Indianapolis. He had a pretty good game himself. How much of a difference does it make when Jaron is that true two-way threat? Obviously, Defensive Player of the Year candidate. We've talked about that before, but he was really aggressive getting to the rim tonight. Multiple aggressive, hard putback dunks. When he fully realizes his size and and is able to take advantage of those matchups, what does that do for the offense? I mean, it takes us to another level. Um, and he's shown that this year. Um, when he's playing like that, he's dominating games um, on both ends of the floor. Um, that's how unique he is. That's how special of a talent he is. Um, and that's what we need out of him. And that's taken us to a to a new level as a team that's been a, a big reason for our success. So um, we continue to need that out of him. We continue to need him, uh, you know, to stay out of foul trouble um, and be out on the floor to not only impact the game offensively, but defensively. Um, and he's doing a great job of that. And uh, he's continuing to figure it out, continue to take steps forward and, and improve. Uh, and it's fun. It's fun to see him. All right. Thank you. All right. That's everyone thank tonight. You. Thank you.